Hello everyone, it's Limor with another I Am Rosa Design Team project and for this project I created a layout using a transparency. I've never done a project like this before using a transparency so I thought I would give it a try. So let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see a bigger picture of what it actually looks like. So this is, let me just, there we go. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, the camera angle is really weird today. Um, so that's what it looks like and I will go through um, exactly what I used on here on the stamp sets and and how I created this but this was so much fun to make because it's just like a total clear canvas for you to create with so here we go for the stamping all around the layout I used I had the Stampin Up Whisper White um, but it's a pigment ink so if you find any sort of pigment ink um, it works really nice. Now just be really careful when with pigment ink on here if you touch it it's going to smear off so you want to make sure that you do dry it with a heat gun but when you dry it with a heat gun be careful because if you're using it on acrylic your acrylic will heat up really quickly and it will want to bend so make sure that you hold the heat gun really high up so that it does not melt or warp your your pages. So the stamp set that I use is from this line right here, it's from Glitz, it says Vintage Blues Stamp and it's the one right up here and that's what I used um, on the roses up, you know, down here and up here. And then right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see, just a second, let me move it. Right here there's these birds, now these birds are up here on the stamp set. So this stamp set, yeah, like I said, Vintage Blue Stamp, so that's what it's called. And some of the roses on here as well are from this stamp set, which is also, it's called Laced with Grace by Glitz. So that's what I used for those. And then I inked the edges of the layout with the Whisper White um, pigment ink all around. So that's what I did for that. Don't ask me where I found these. I don't know what company they're from, but they are a felt sticker and it just says sore. And you guys see they're felt. And I will walk you through the I Am Roses that I used. Now, I don't have the item numbers on here, but what I'll do is I will post the link below so that you can, actually, I will post the link to my blog, and then on my blog, you'll have a clear description of and links to all of the flowers that I used on here. And please check out the tutorial. I created a tutorial, um, not yesterday, or I created a tutorial two days ago. So check it out. It's two... Um, I am Rose's tutorials and that I used on this layout. So right here you will find um, the first one and it was the uh, using the daisy petals and the crochet the little crocheted flowers. So I used it on here and I used it on here. Um, as well I used um, these beautiful flowers by uh, these roses by I am Roses and I just love this two-tone brown and the cream. Just love that. This crocheted flower is awesome. They come in several different colors. So go ahead and check them out. I just love it. You could put a flower on top. Like you could just totally layer this up. I just love this and it's so thick. Um, this is a gem from, I believe, Jolie's Boutique. And this is the other flower tutorial that I did. And let me show you one that is um, in full size so you can see it. This is what it looks like when it's finished. This is an orange one. But that's what the tutorial is on. So go check that out. Um, and it's using some hydrangea petals and some daisy leaves or daisy petals and then the other part of the project I'm just going to move the camera over a little bit so you can see so right here I used um, some of the I Am Roses sprays and I love these you can just totally play with these and move them around and um, there's the other uh, flower tutorial that I did and then just another one of those roses and the beautiful brown leaves. I did spray all of this, so the lighting is, is hard because it this reflects all the light, this um, acrylic, acrylic uh, page. And then what I did, in order to tie this whole page in, you want to make sure that um, you ink up the edges of your pictures because when you don't, you will have, especially on a acrylic page, you'll have a very crisp look to it, which is not really what you want in a, in a layout like this, especially because the edges are not very crisp, they're kind of like, like cloudy. So you, I really wanted to make sure that that effect followed through on the bottom. So the, all these edges are inked up, which is why they blend so nicely onto the page. And then I did find just, this is actually so cute. This is actually a little hair clip. Um, this little heart right here, I'm just gonna zoom in for you so you can see. This is a little hair clip that I found at the dollar store, but it's, I thought it was super cute. 
So that's what I used on that. And then I believe this right here is some Kaiser Craft bling, or I should say pearls. Pearl swirl. So thank you so much for checking out the video. Like I said, um, go to the link below and I will have a link to my blog and you can find all the different links to the flowers that I used on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I love to hear your comments so please go ahead and leave one below. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.